Hey everyone, it's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great day today. It's Thursday morning. Um, hope you're safe. Uh, hope you're keeping your distance, being aware of what's happening out there. Uh, I'm a little apprehensive about going to work this afternoon, but uh, every day's a, every day's a new day, and, and um, just have to get through it. So. I wanted to continue my look at this amazing box set from ZZ Top, their first 10 studio albums. Before I get into it, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you to all that have liked and subscribed so far. I greatly appreciate it. I want to continue to put great content out there to be informative and to show you guys some great bands and artists that I have in my collection. Uh, so from again, from this box set. I talked about their first studio album, ZZ Top's first album. Amazing blues based album, just fantastic, highlighting the band at the at uh in the early beginnings, but uh, still at that stage an amazing band and how great uh a player uh, Billy Gibbons is. Just uh, I think I ranked that one 10 out of 10. Um, Rio Grande Mud, another blues, rock, and bass album. Just superb. Gave that one a 9 out of 10. In some days it could be a 10 out of 10. And Tres Hombres, again another 9 out of 10. An amazing album. Uh, kind of their breakthrough album commercial-wise. Uh, put them on the map, so to speak. Um, big hit Lagrange off of this one. Uh, waiting for the bus. Jesus just left Chicago. Uh, full of full of amazing songs. Uh, today I want to talk about Fandango. Fandango, four studio album released in 1975. Um, half the tracks are live shows and the rest are from studio. Uh, it's a great winning combination, it really is. Uh, um, also contains the uh, band's first top 10, sorry, first top 40 single in Tush, uh, which peaked at number 20 on the Billboard's top 100. Uh, the live versions are amazing. Um, it was a hot show, um, and the fact that the band was on fire, and also there was no air conditioning uh, at the time of the uh, of the performance. Um, studio versions are deep and uh, full of personal stories by the band. Uh, as as I said earlier, they they gathered stories from any aspect that they had, uh, all their experiences. They wrote them down and then they put them in their songs. And uh, that's what made uh, ZZ Top unique. Uh, a winning combination, basically, of uh, uh, showing the uh, amazing performances live as well as in the studio. So it starts off with Thunderbird. live performance of Thunderbird. has been just a little forward. Jail. 
Dusty Hill singing. Underrated voice, Dusty Hill. And we have Backdoor Medley, Dr. Lois here. Three piece band, man. Three piece. Nasty Dogs and Funky Kings. Studio version. But just listen to that, though. Just, just grooving. One of my all time favorite songs by the band, Blue Jean Blues. Um, I'd put this up against any blues song, any blues player. Uh, I wish I could play the whole thing. This is just an amazing... Just highlights Billy Gibbons' talent. I done ran into my baby. Ball knees. Mexican Blackbirds. It's great. It's great. It's great. I love it. Heard it on the X. Uh, next song is Tush. I'm probably not going to play this one because I don't want to get it uh, copy written, but uh, everyone's heard Tush. Uh, an amazing song. Uh, again, put them on the map. Um, but yeah, what a performance. Um, I'd have to give this one uh, 10 out of 10. Um, I gave this one a 10. I gave this one, I'm going to say 9.5, okay, because it, it, at anywhere, at any point in time, it goes between 9 and 10. I'll give this one, a, again, a 9.5. Uh, I'm going to give this one a 10 because of um, Blue Jean Blues, because of Tush, um, Heard It on the X. Um, Nasty Dogs and Funky Kings, their live performances. Um, just an amazing, amazing album. So I guess if you average it all out, uh, I don't know, we're, we're probably sitting around between nine, I guess nine and a half for all these four albums so far. Uh, my math may not be correct, but that's what I'm giving them anyway. <laughs> um, next I'll be reviewing Teja, another fine album. I have this one in album format as well, um, as well as Trey's Hombres. Um, I don't have these two, and I don't have Fandango either. I do now, obviously, but um, yeah. So there you have it. There's a look at ZZ Top's Fandango. Again, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you to all that have liked and subscribed so far. I greatly appreciate it. I want to continue to put great content out there and uh, show you guys some of these great bands and artists. I mean, ZZ Top is just amazing. Uh, I think everyone obviously knows ZZ Top from Eliminator, but uh, it just goes to show you that there's so much more to this band and the talent that they have and uh, watch the documentary on Netflix and it'll show you how the three of them uh, I guess were meant to get together um, and uh, create this amazing three-piece band called ZZ Top. Have yourself a wonderful day. Please be safe and take care.
Bye-bye. Talk to you tomorrow.